I, I want to record this uh, Happy New Year, first of all. I want to record this as a tribute to all my ancestors all the way from Africa. Um, this is a message not just for myself or my children, for, but for all the children of my siblings and other relatives who are from the Royal um, Ekimogu Oshimawe House in Ondo, Nigeria. Um, it is very important that people know where they came from. I know where I came from. And I want all our children, including my siblings in diaspora, uh, many in Europe, in South America, and in North America, to understand this. First, I would like to um, praise the God of our, our ancestors for uh, the life and the, uh, the life of my great grandfather, Obajimeku. Ojiku Tukweko of Ondo from the Shemawe uh, ruling house. And uh, his son, uh, Pa Adiboiga, who is my grandfather. And also to my dad, Rafael Ayodele Adiboiga. Uh, I am the first child of Rafael Ayodele Adiboiga. We are nine brothers and nine sisters, all spread across the globe. And uh, today, our ancestors can see that they've been blessed with all the children in good places, doing good and um, uh, progressing and in good health. That, that is a point for which we should thank God. Now, the reason why I'm making this uh, video is because I want those our children, particularly mine in Canada, to know that we came from a royal family in Nondo. And that royal family in Nondo descended directly from the Alafio for you. And the Alafi of Oyo was the leader of the Yorubas who brought the Yorubas from around the Nile or Saudi Arabia back more than 1,000 years ago to West Africa. And it happened that when the Alafi of Oyo had the twins, uh, he had two, the, one of his wives, Olu, uh, gave birth to twins. At that time, it was an ill omen to give birth to twins. So they had to kill the twins. So what he decided to do was to give a crown to the two uh, uh, twins, a female and a male, and send them to rule that part of uh, Nigeria that is called Ondo. And uh, that is how we got the first king, who was a female of Bakupupu, or who became the first female king of Ondo. That was the only female king we ever had. That is our ancestor. And uh, the brother, was the ruler of Ileoluji, which is um, a, a neighboring town close to Ondo, much smaller than Ondo. So now what I'm trying to explain here is that we understand where we came from. It, all, the, all the descendants of, uh, uh, of, um, of the female king uh, ruled that area all the way until around 1849. I'm not exactly sure of the date, when Obajimeko uh, became king, who was the father of my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather died in 1945, according to the story, I never met him. But the, the important point to note with regard to religious societies is that it was King Jimeko that actually welcomed into Ondo the uh, three religion, three branches of religion, the Roman Catholic, the Anglican Church, and the Islamic faith. So he gave lands to them, and subsequently, all of his descendants, his children, uh, then followed into the three different uh, groups, uh, religious groups. Uh, we grew up as Roman Catholic. Some of our relatives grew up as uh, Anglican. Uh, and then uh, the rest were uh, Muslim. I have uh, relatives that are Muslim, and uh, we, we lived together, we celebrated together all their festivals, they celebrated Christmas and Easter with us. So there was never that discrimination between who is Muslim, who is Christian. But today, um, people still live in harmony, you know, each one worshiping God in their own way. But this is how we find all the people in different religion that belong to the same big family in Ondo, uh, love, still continue to love each other without any uh, religious crisis. So I just wanted to state this so that our children, particularly mine, particularly mine, 
will know that this is where they came from. This is how uh, people worship God. They were worshiping idols before um, Christianity and Islam came to, to, to the area. So, but today, most people um, still maintain those traditional way of worshiping God, while at the same time uh, maintaining their adherence to some uh, religious precepts. Okay, and a happy new year. That is all I wanted to say for now. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a message. Thank you.